everybody and today I am going to show you the game that I played against Hikaru in the most recent title Tuesday. I was playing with the black pieces and yeah, let's go. He started off with b3, I played e5, I wasn't surprised because it's one of Hikaru's most favorite openings, so b3, e5, bishop b2, knight c6, I was playing okay, bishop b5, bishop d6, d3, apparently Finally, like super crazy, that is a mistake, Stoffer says. Stoffer says he can't have played something like knight a3, which is book, but d3 is a mistake because I have knight to e7, and the idea is that his bishop is stuck. So, if, for example, he develops, I get c6, and no matter where the bishop moves, I get b5, so he has to go d4, and then after e4, I'm slightly better. But I didn't find that idea during the game because it's very, very difficult to spot it. I castled, he took, I took. Knight d4, bishop d4, a knight e2, rook e8, h3, bishop h5. So far, everybody, we are both are playing pretty well. Played queen e7, which wasn't too good. I should have played knight to d7, with I think idea after he goes g4, bishop g6, and after castle, I think f6, yeah. Either b5 and then f6, or f6 and then b5, so that my bishop can escape through f7 and I would be equal. After queen e7, he should have played for g4, but he played knight c4, rook a d8, queen c1. Uh, there was a little, a little bit weird move here. I was expecting him to play g4. Then I think I would just retreat and then knight d7, f6 idea. Mm. So, yeah, but he played queen c1. I played bishop b4, king f1, I took, so he doesn't have ability to castle now. I played knight d7, so Chris doesn't like that. He suggests knight h5, but it's a little bit weird to... Uh, I mean, the pawn was hanging, but now that you look deep in, deeper into it, after bishop b5, there is b5, and as you can see, the queen, uh, the bishop and the knight hangs, and if the knight moves, the bishop is going to fall, so if that doesn't work, he cannot take with the bishop, and if he takes with the knight, I get f5, and then f takes e threats, and then the position opens up, and then it would be better. So, but I play knight e7, which was a human move. Uh, here he had go for knight e3 with the idea of knight f5, but he played h4, very human. This, this stockfish said, says that h6 is a mistake. My idea of playing h6 was to completely stop his pawn push, right? But stockfish says I should have played f5, and then e4, so I sacrificed the pawn, and then e3, and then I sacrificed two pawns, but as his king is in the center, it is unclear I have good compensation. Played h6, he played knight e3. Knight f8, knight f5, queen f7, g3, knight e6. g3 was a nice move restricting uh, restricting knight f4. King f1, bishop c5, so far, I mean, I'm just making moves. Bishop b6, queen c2. It's very hard for him to break through. You know, just shuffling back and forth. Uh, okay, a5 was an inaccuracy. I should have just played a6 with the idea of playing c5. For example, he plays, say, rook h2 doing nothing, then I get c5. And the idea is if he continues doing nothing, okay, this blunders opponent, you see, uh, my bad, this just hangs, but if he comes back, then I get c takes b, c takes b, and then I get a good square for my knight on d4, he's forced to take, and after rook d4 it would be better, so instead of a5 I should have played a6, and if he plays a3, then still c5, this c, b, a, b, Bishop b3, and that would be equal because I don't have this bad bishop on b6. I played a5, he played a3, takes, takes, so I'm still perfectly fine. Rook a8, I want to take control over the a file. Here, computer says, like, every move I should have played c5, but I didn't really like the idea of b5 from him. So just a line like that, so that the pawn on b5 is a weakness, and that um, even though... I, I cannot take the pawn, that would be a big mistake, look at that, because he gets a nice move, knight h6, and takes queen e6 and worse. So yeah, it's something, it's like all after the game, queen f7, queen g4, rook d just going back and forth. Now I finally played c5, takes knight c5, mm, though knight c5 was a mistake, I should have played bishop, I should have played bishop c5. Uh, the idea is I prevent d4, because now if takes, 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 and after all the captures are done, I, oops, it takes with the rook, and I end up a pawn up, and I'm better. So, yeah, I should have taken with the bishop. Then queen e2 was a mistake from him. He should have went, he should have went d4, uh, knight b3, and then rook b2. 
the idea is after e takes d he gets a very nice move look at this queen g6 if i move my king he takes and then takes my knight i'm completely lost oops and if i take his queen he takes and then rook b3 and yeah he's completely win as well so after d for this i should have, i should have taken c1 takes and it would be much better because of much better pieces and my pieces are very passive but okay he played queen e2 i played knight b3 which was good this uh rook a8 was a slight inaccuracy i should have played bishop c5 and after bishop b2 weird move b6 but the idea is that i keep my pieces active queen f3 for example king h8 and then he will never get d4 right because my knight on b3 is a great piece preventing knight to d2 right oops oh see daisy preventing knight to d2 so he cannot and at the same time he cannot go d4 because i take 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 and i have more pieces controlling that and i would be a pawn up so yeah i should have played i should have played bishop c5 b6 making my pieces very stable the only try for him would be f4 or something uh but then i go b5 takes takes with b4 ideas to get the d4 square i would be pretty fine bishop c and a 95 was a mistake for me i should uh have played bishop e3 and then rook a d8 c6 b5 knight c5 yes i put pressure on the d pawn knight g5 and the position here would be out equal even though my pieces my my pieces and my king aren't too too great placed it is more or less equal rook 7 queen e4 this though queen e4 is a mistake i should have played rook d5 and then a nice way to force a draw and he cannot escape the perpetual because king h3 i get knight f3 and if king g1 i get queen d1 and knight oh wait queen d1 blames the queen but knight f3 and that's a draw after this this so yeah which would be stay i would be fine he took on c5 now as i don't have my knight he gets rook d2 ideas and d4 ideas that is why my knight was super super important to my position this is cd now he's much better bishop b6 queen g4 this this i mean i'm trying to not allow him some active play this shuffling back and forth now he plays f4 with ideas of e5 and perhaps d5 play bishop b8 i should uh, play here b5 to at least create some passers which can be quite quite nice at some point but yeah still he would be better because his passers are much better than my only passer now he was winning i played bishop eight d5 was an inaccuracy mistake from him he should have played knight h4 queen g6 and then get his queen to g6 and win opponent c6 win opponent b5 he has a super strong passer on d5 and he's much winning a much much better and he's winning bishop d6 this this and he played queen g6 and here i made my final mistake i played queen g6 it may sound it may seem good but it's a big big mistake i should have played king h8 and now already after knight f5 i get this b4 and my passer can be after bishop f8 stockfish says d6 b3 and i have great compensation he has a good passer i have good i have a good passer so it's already not so clear whether he has a win advantage or not so king h8 and i would most likely lose but position at the moment is pretty good because after queen g6 he took knight f5 put my bishop to f8 then he got he played d6 i tried pushing my pawn but he can do anything he wants in in this position rook b5 because my bishop is stuck my king is stuck my rook is stuck every single piece is stuck for me b3 this i tried something but then he took rook f4 rook b8 i tried sacrificing and exchange to get in some space but then takes rook c1 this rook c8 rook f5 king e2 and rook f8 and that's how he made it me so that is the story of how i played hikaru for the first time it was a very very interesting game first from the open i mean i never seen this 97 idea but apparently it would be better because of war's bishop right uh then i should have played knight d7 f6 earlier i gave him time but he didn't use it this then i got a good position i had this very crazy knight h5 idea and then after knight e3 g6 and g3 f5 as his king is in the center it is nice to even sack upon here again i had nice move f5 even though i wasted time with f6 f5 e4 i sack two pawns his king is in the center it's not so good for him i mean it's equal but i have good compensation then we played for a long amount of time i should have played c5 earlier i didn't should have did with the bishop so he doesn't get the d4 square 
this is this then big mistake was knight c5 allowing him to take my very very good knight this is this still was more or less okay but then then after this queen g6 it was already in time trouble and i didn't calculate well enough and i played queen g6 and then i just self-made a stalemated my own position, King h8, I had good chances, and then he went on to win. After rook b4, taking rook b8, and here he made me. So that is how I played Hikaru, I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and let me know which other videos you want, which other games you want me to analyze in the future videos. Thanks, thanks a lot everybody for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care everybody, and bye-bye!